Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Japan, I'm going to be talking to you about what you should bring to study abroad in Tokyo. So, I'm not going to do a、uh, like a line item by line item type thing. I'm going to kind of make it a bit more general, just to fit your particular lifestyle, and also you know types of clothing and things like that. Because you know, like say for instance, what I wear is a little different than what the ladies wear, so、um, you have to pack accordingly. So. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it, right? So, for me, and I talked about this in my previous video, talking about how much clothes should I bring to study abroad in Tokyo.、Um, I recommended that you bring、uh, two weeks worth of clothes at least.、Um, anything、uh, beyond that, probably wouldn't do like anything more than three weeks worth of clothes because, again, you have to worry about、uh, weight restrictions for your flight. So, there are some flights where They have weight restrictions even on、uh, checked luggage, which is something I found out the hard way. So I ended up having to dump a whole lot of clothes and other electronics and things like that just to make the、uh, the weight for my baggage.、Um, so be sure to be cognizant about that. And、um, also, even beyond that, just lugging it around from、um, whatever airport you come in through Narita, Haneda. Recommend Haneda, by the way.、Um, You also have to lug it onto the train to, or the bus to get to your next destination, whether it's a hotel or your guest house or wherever the case may be. So you have to be mindful about not packing too much because you got to lug all that stuff around Japan. So、uh, for me, I would recommend、uh, at least two weeks worth of clothing, no more than three weeks.、Um, also, I would recommend、uh, two to three pairs of shoes. Because again, for me, I wear a size 11 American, which is a size 29 centimeter out here in Japan. And if you're a size 28 centimeter and below, again for men's, don't know what it is for ladies, sorry ladies, but、uh, <clears throat> if you're a size 28 and below in men's in Japan,、uh, you'll be fine. You'll be able to find like a whole slew of shoes out here. Yeah, that kind of sort of rhymed.、Uh, but if you're above a size 28, even if it's 28 and a half, I found. Um, you'll have some troubles finding stuff. It's not impossible, but you just got to be a bit more、um, studious, I guess, in finding footwear for you.、Uh, luckily, there's a lot of places you know, out here in town、uh, ABC Mart,、uh, Amazon Japan, and、uh, other places as well. Those are the two that I've gone to for footwear.、Uh, in fact, I bought these shoes off of Amazon. Not Amazon Japan, but just Amazon in general. So,、uh, yeah. <laughs>、um, but in any event, yeah, definitely three pairs of shoes. Also, maybe like some indoor shoes, you know, whether that's sandals,、uh, slippers, things like that.、Um, if you are doing teaching, I would recommend getting like a spare pair of shoes as your indoor shoes. You know, just kind of clean up, make them look nice and stuff.、Uh, so that way you can like put them in your little foot locker or whatever, and those will be your shoes you're changing to when you're coming into school. Um, and、uh, stuff like that. But if you're living at a guest house, you'll definitely need <clears throat> like、uh, sandals, slippers, whatever. So I brought a pair of sandals for me.、Um, as far as toiletries,、uh, it depends again on your preferences. And also, if you have sensitive skin, like I do,、um, I have to use like special shampoo and detergent and stuff like that.、Um, I'm going to be doing a dedicated video. On how to do laundry and other types of places to shop for stuff if you have sensitive skin, like I do. It's not impossible to find, and it's actually pretty plentiful, actually, because there's a lot of people in Japan with sensitive skin. So it's、uh, a pretty easy find, but you g o t t o know what you're looking for. Again, topic for a future video. So, aside from basic toiletries, you know, cologne, perfume,、uh, you know, shampoo, stuff like that, at least enough to kind of get you by. If you get the little travel size, that's okay. But,、uh, you know, I'd recommend something that at least g e t you by for the first two weeks, maybe three. And then, you know, shaving, which、uh, I got to do. <laughs> you know, just stuff like that. And then、uh, electronics.、Um, definitely recommend bringing a laptop, ideally,、um, just because you'll never know what you're working on.、Um, if you have a tablet, Uh, it's fine, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy a tablet specifically for studying abroad in Japan.、Um, the only one I would like, consider 
going out of my way for buying would be the Surface Pro tablet because it could also double as a laptop, you know, depending on what types of programs and stuff you work with. You know, if you're a, a video editor like myself, um, you'll have to be shelling out a lot of money to get a uh, Surface Pro tablet that can do a lot of video editing stuff. But for basic day-to-day -day stuff, you know, just the basic models more than enough. And also a uh, cell phone, which I'm recording on right now, uh, preferably unlocked because then you'll just be able to get a SIM card out here in town and uh, go on from there. And uh, yeah, also a, a book bag would do you well as well. So that way if you're out and about in town, you know, you can carry stuff in that. So if you like, you go grocery shopping, wherever the case may be, instead of just holding on to the groceries all the time, you know, just shove them in your book bag, G to G. So that's the uh, basic gist of uh, what to bring out here to study abroad in Tokyo, Japan. So with that said, guys, this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now. As always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. And if you have any questions about studying abroad in Tokyo, sure to leave them in the comments down below in the boopity boops, and I will do my best to answer those questions. And I definitely look forward to uh, seeing you guys' comments down below. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.